What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. Uh, back with another SketchUp quick tip for you today. So today we're gonna talk about using the paint bucket tool to apply colors in SketchUp and uh, some of the shortcuts that it has. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So uh, the s most simple thing you can do in SketchUp to paint an object is to just come in here and select a color and just click on the faces you wanna paint. So you can come in here and you can paint all of these different faces just like this. And that works just fine. So it's an effective way of doing things, but when you have a whole lot of different faces, uh, it gets a little bit more difficult to do that. So um, like for example, if I've got a series of boxes like this, it's gonna take me a lot longer to come in here and click all these faces individually. So what I could do instead is I can drag a box across them select all the faces that I want to color and then just use the paint bucket tool to paint all of them just like this so that's that's a lot more effective if you're just trying to cover a whole bunch of different select a whole bunch of faces at once however it can get a little tricky because sometimes you don't want to paint faces like on the inside of these boxes or stuff like that so sometimes you want to make some changes and you need um, some more in-depth tools in order to do that so the paint bucket tool offers several keyboard shortcuts to adjust the way you apply materials. So the first thing it does is it allows you to sample materials. So let's say my original box over here was more of a purple color and these are more of a blue color and I wanna paint these the same color as this. All I have to do is activate the paint bucket tool and then hold the alt key. You can see how your mouse turns into like an eyedropper. That allows you to match paint in different materials so if I click on this material it's gonna select this material over here on the side and then I can start painting with it just like this so you can use it as as a color picker tool if you want so that's a lot faster than coming over here and clicking on the eyedropper every time you want to sample a material so that allows you to select the correct materials the paint bucket tool also offers a couple of keyboard shortcuts to adjust the way you apply materials so the first modifier for the paint bucket tool is the shift key so if you hold the shift key you can see how down here in the corner it says all faces in the model with matching paint will change so what that means is as long as I hold the shift key if I paint something every face in this model that has the exact same face will change color so if I hold the shift key and I click on this face, you can see that this block over here also got colored. So what that does is that takes everything in this model, as long as I'm holding the shift key and takes everything that had that blue color and it changes it to my new color. So it's a real fast way to come in here and change all your different colors and stuff like that. However, sometimes you don't wanna paint all the faces in your model. Sometimes you just wanna paint the faces in your currently selected object or your current object. Like let's say for example, I just wanted to paint this center box right here in my series. So basically, there's another option for this in the paint bucket tool. Uh, it's the control key. So the control key, if you hold that down, what that'll do is it'll set this up so all connected faces with matching paint will change. So instead of saying everything in the model, it's basically saying if I click on this face right here, every face that's connected to that will change color. So if I hold that control key and click on this, basically any face that's connected to this face directly will change. So you can see how that changed my whole box just like this. So if I select more of a, like a purple color and I hold the control key, this box will turn that purple color. So it'll just change the connected faces. So if you do something like that, you can come in here and real quickly change the colors of each one of these blocks individually. Um, so it's a real fast way to do that. So that works real well for objects like this one. Um, if you've got like faces on the top and the bottom that are one color, but you've got the faces all the way around the perimeter here that are another, if you hold that control key to change all those connected faces, you can change the entire perimeter of this shape right now really quickly. So I can come in here as long as I'm holding the control key and I can change this to whatever color I wanna change in here. So, and that, that works that works really well as long as all your faces are touching each other but sometimes you have an object like this one where all those faces aren't touching each other so i've got like a green band along the bottom and then i've got a different color here and then i've got different colors up top so if i try to change all of these different colors using the control key 
like this, it's only going to change the ones on the bottom because those are the only connected faces with that material. Um, but SketchUp does have a way to do this. Um, if you hold the control and shift keys, then you can see it says all faces on same object with matching paint. So basically, it sees this as an object because all the, all the lines and faces are touching each other. So it considers this whole object an individual object. It doesn't consider this a part of this object. Now if I hold control and shift and I click on this, like this, you can see everywhere that that green color was on this object turned to red. So, and then I can do the same thing with these other faces. These faces aren't connected, but if I hold control and shift, I can change what color they are for all of the unconnected faces on here. And you can see how these back here don't, don't connect as well, but as long as they have the same material and I hold control and shift, SketchUp is going to paint all of those the same way. So if I wanted to change the top here and the bottom, I could hold control and shift and do that and you can see all of that changed as well. So this really gives you a whole lot of options for applying different materials and stuff like that in your models. Anyway, that's where I'm going to end today's video. Uh, hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Did you like it? Is this something you've been using? Um, I'd love to know what you think. I'd love to have a SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. Um, and if you really like what I'm doing, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Um, every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. That just helps me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. In any case, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.